This is the new PIRECA pyrolysis system. I have to uh, test different biomasses, different temperatures, gas flow, um, and residence time. Uh, we can check all kind of parameters, uh, pyrolysis uh, from 350 to 800 degrees at uh, one degree steps. Uh, we can give inert gas uh, here that is uh, heated uh, up to the uh, temperature of the reactor. Uh, we can give it at the um, exit of the biomass and uh, give inert gas for the gas flow at the beginning. We have a hollow axis uh, where we can get uh, samples from the gas. We have two windows to get samples from the reactor. Uh, we have three possibilities for the after burning uh, and also to check um, the Rustacine gas flow. Uh, entrance of biomass is here and the exit here. Residence minimum time is seven minutes uh, and we can increase it up to three hours uh, residence time. The reactor is very good isolated so it is not hot when you touch it. Here you see the afterburner. Uh, it's mostly syn gas, but uh, we use also some propane gas uh, to have a stable flame. There uh, in the back you have uh, nitrogen uh, inert gas that we use for the um, gas flow and the reduction of tar. We can paralyze all sorts of biomasses. Uh, here for example we have coffee seeds and uh, we can uh, use all kinds of blendings and humidity decrease. So this is uh, coffee seeds with iron sulfate to make uh, uh, magnetite and magnetic uh, biochar. Exit of biochar is here. Uh, we just produced some uh, magnetic uh, biochar that you can see here with the magnet. And here we have the biochar fixed at the magnet.